Welcome everybody to Research at Reader. Lovely to see so many of you here and also I've glanced online and there's plenty of people online as well so welcome to the online people. Um, I'm just going to do a, a few uh, words of welcome and introduction, um, give you a couple of words about the uh, physical and online kind of housekeeping and arrangements for the conference and then I'm going to hand you over for the exciting and over 80% positively rated um, introductory session, or at least it was over 80% positively rated last year and the year before. We'll see this year how we do. So I'm just going to pop up a slide or two. Um, so uh, let's start with welcome. Welcome to the conference. I can't believe this is the eighth conference. Who's been to all eight? Oh, a few hands. Yeah, well done. Okay, great. Well done. Uh, keep going. Keep going. I, I might come next time. I don't know. Um, so, uh, right. Firstly, I want to say a thank you to the participants at the conference. So thank you for being here, physically here or online. Um, as you can know, I've said this to a few people, we're kind of aggressively hybrid, so we're delighted to have online people joining us at the meeting. So thank you. You're in the right place. Let me reassure you, you're where you're supposed to be. You're not at the wrong conference and you're at a good conference. So this is our, our scores from previous years. Um, these are the key kind of sentiment questions we ask. So 100% relevant, I guess that means people came to the right conference. Um, that's not more telling than that. Uh, valuable use of my time. Um, so there was a bumpy year in 2021 where 98% of people said it was valuable use of my time. One person said, no, uh, completely disagree, not valuable use of my time, definitely coming next year. So I think they may have put the wrong thing. 2022 was hybrid, um, slightly lower ratings for value use time, my time, but the strongly agree was incredibly high. So the people, most people thought it was fantastic, but a few, few slightly fewer more people, well, ticked the wrong box, I guess. Um, okay, so thank you for being here. You are in the right place. Um, who are you? I always talk about your audience before you talk about yourself. So there's uh, 200 people signed up. Um, uh, somebody registered about 15 minutes ago, so that was a joy for the admin team to deal with, of course, but thank you all of you who are here. John, do come on down. There's places at the front uh, if you want to sit at the front. Um, so uh, who are we? Uh, Registration-wise, we're about 75% said they would be here uh, in the room and about 25% online, um, but that's kind of up to you as to which you do, and we've had a few people telling us this morning that they've changed their minds one way or the other, which is fine. Uh, I'm told that with two-day conferences, there's a slight tendency for people to get up on the second day and they're in their hotel room and they're going, well, I'm in my pyjamas, I think I'll try the online version today. So we may see a few people uh, not showing up physically tomorrow, we'll see. Um, we're about 50-50 new and returning people, which I think is a nice mix. It's a nice mix of the old hands and the, and the newer people, and I hope the people who've been here before will be kind of welcoming and supportive to the people for whom it's less familiar. Um, we're about 60, 40 UK, rest of the world, which sounds kind of about right. Um, a lot of people have travelled here from abroad, but also a lot of people taking advantage of, of online. Um, we're about 60, 40 uh, women, men, which I suppose uh, you know, reflects the mix in our, our industry. Uh, we have 44 PhDs. Uh, so welcome to the PhDs. I mean, I'm not sort of bragging about that so much as about, you know, this is a conference about academia. It is about scholarly communication. So it's good to have um, not sort of just professional publishers or professional librarians, but actual academics here. I always do a bit of a troll through the name list. So this time we've got two Smiths. We've got two Phil Joneses. Phil Joneses, do you want to both wave so you can see each other? Uh, what? Oh, the other one might be online. Uh, OK, well, you'll have to meet up somehow. Uh, we have two Watkinsons. Um, it, amusingly, we have three Marks. Uh, but also two Marxes, two people with the surname Marx. There's one, and that was the other, no, okay. Um, we have a, a plethora of Laura's, Sarah's, Hannah's, and Simon's, so welcome. Actually, we've got quite a lot of Steve's, but they've all spelt their names slightly differently, so they didn't count. Um, we also, weirdly, have an enormous number of people with surnames beginning with W this year. I don't know what that is, but I just noticed it, and it seems a bit weird. Um, compared to last year, so we're up on last year in terms of numbers of participants, so great, thank you for coming along. Um, the other numbers are kind of about the same. Last year, because of COVID, I suppose, we were kind of 50-50 physical online, or at least that's what we think was happening. But the other statistics were very similar. Um, we had only one Jones. Um, we had three Powells for some reason, but no Powells this year. I don't know what's happened to the Powells. So that's who you are. I'm sorry if I didn't name everybody, but I'm working on it. 
Um, OK, thank you, contributors. So, of course, it wouldn't work without all the people who, who moderate panels and give speeches and all this kind of thing and work behind the scenes. Huge number of people. And I think part of that is about this is conference not about five people on the stage talking to 300 people in the audience. This is about 200 people all talking together. Um, and about 75% of them are, are kind of named in the program. Uh, no, sorry, 75 of them are named in the program. Um, but we're all kind of in this together, and I like to think that it's really conference participants who just from time to time step up on stage rather than speakers flying in in their helicopters to, to bestow their wisdom. So uh, thank you all of you who've made this what it is uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, thank you, sponsors. Uh, I always try and say nice things about sponsors because they are vital. They have made your tickets about half the price they would otherwise have been, um, so they are crucial. Our gold sponsor, Royal Society of Chemistry, is back with us again this year. Thank you to them. Uh, they're not well represented, um, uh, actually, at the conference today because they're having a big corporate uh, jamboree of some sort. Uh, today and tomorrow, so there are not a lot of them here, but thank you for them. Our silver sponsors, MDPI, Frontiers, and CCC, and our other sponsors, Editorial Office are back, Springer Nature are back, Mosaic, that's my own firm. I don't do this for a living, I'm actually a recruiter. My real job is headhunting, that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, and Aries, and our media partner, Research Information, and you should have got copies of Research Information, there are some lying around for you to read if you want. So thank you to the sponsors. Um, Housekeeping, I'm going to zip through the housekeeping quickly. Some of it is for physical people in the room here, and some of it is for online people, so it's a bit of a mix. So in the room here, Wi-Fi, um, your uh, Wi-Fi is, I think, it's visitor, and your password is on the back of your badge here, um, along with a miniature program. We're very proud of the miniature program, so do please look at the miniature program. Uh, social media. Um, we've gone a bit dark on Twitter uh, at R2R for reasons which I think you're familiar, but we've kind of gone off Twitter a bit. But if you are going to use social media, that's the hashtag to use. Um, and timekeeping. Please be on time. We run fairly strictly to time. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the time. I'm already overrunning. Um, but please return to sessions on time and just generally try and be on time to make it work well. If you're struggling with anything at all, Pete, if you're in the room, speak to somebody uh, with a, a red badge, except me. Don't speak to me, but speak to one of the other people with a red badge, please. Um, and if you're online, then uh, you can uh, put something in the chat uh, or you can send an email to admin at r2rconf.com uh, and we will get back to you as quickly as we can. Conduct. We don't have a written conduct um, uh, statement. We, we looked at it, but it's too hard. So that is our conduct statement. Be nice. Um, but if you are having a conduct issue, if you're having an issue with anyone or you have a concern, then please bring it to the attention of somebody with a red badge and, um, and we'll do the right thing. Uh, badges and passes, please return them at the end. Um, so don't take these home as a souvenir, uh, but we want to have them back, uh, please. Uh, okay, recording. We are recording this, obviously enough, including recording the audience and, uh, and uh, in the physical room, um, and we're recording uh, lightning talks and so on. So uh, if you have any concerns about being recorded um, and then made available live, then let us know. Venue, physical venue, you are here. I'm going to talk a bit more about the digital menu in a minute, uh, a venue in a minute. There's, um, there's maps, there's a map on the back of the program, there's guidance, there's signage. If you get lost, talk to red badge people. Uh, accessibility, if you have any accessibility issues, I wonder if a few of you told us about that when you registered, but if you've got something that we ought to know about, then do let us know. Um, uh, right, so fire exits. Uh, clearly marked fire exits. If there is a fire alarm, it's a real fire alarm. They used to always do a, a test at 11 o'clock on Mondays, so we moved the conference to Tuesday um, uh, to avoid that. But if there is a fire alarm, it's real. Um, please exit the building in a sensible, calm way, and the um, gathering point is in Tavistock Square, so the other side of the road. Take care crossing the road um, outside. Uh, okay. Participant survey is vital, so there is a paper one which you can grab from the uh, table downstairs or download from the platform. There is an electronic one which is linked from the platform mostly in the break session, so if you look in the platform at the break, you'll see a link to the survey. Please click on that and fill it in or fill in the paper one. We really do care about what you think. The comments are important, the scores are important. We monitor that very carefully, so please do get into that either as you go or at the end. At the end of the conference, also vital is Scholarly Social, which is a meeting in the pub for those of you who are 
um, uh, physically here, or I suppose those of you who are, who are online and in central London at home in your pyjamas, uh, do come to Scholarly Social on Wednesday evening, uh, and it's in the Marquis Cornwallis pub. Uh, it's not part of the conference, but it's just something that kind of co-locates with the conference. Okay, so, um, there's, oh, there's the map. There's where the Marcus Cornwallis is. Uh, right, moving on. Hybrid, quick word about hybrid. I'm going to just very quickly give you a, a, a view of the sort of platforms. So we've got physical participants and online participants, physical at BMA House, obviously enough, and that's, we're going to do plenary sessions in here in the Great Hall with Q&A. Then we go to breakouts in the work, breakout rooms for, for the workshops. Um, and also the lightning talks are in the Paget room, which is next to where you had coffee this morning. Um, there's also uh, going to be breaks for refreshments and coffee. We used to call it a lunch break, but with time zones, that felt unfair to people in America to say we're going to lunch now, so it's the first break. Uh, but there's, there's breaks in the snow room where you've got coffee this morning. The digital venue matters to you too, I would like to believe. So this is on a platform called Events Case, um, and so you can... Um, use that to see the agenda and timetable. You can use that to see sponsor information. You can use that for text chat. So it'd be really great to hear from you people in the room in the text chat. You can use it for Q&A, and if you put your questions in, then it'll be easier for moderators to call on you. And we're going to use it, I hope, for the debate poll tomorrow. So you really ought to be getting into that. There's also links to the survey, as I've mentioned. There's also links to our online forum. I'm just going to flash up a forum screen. So we now have this online forum to give the conference kind of continuity over the, the whole year. So you should join in, if you can, some of those forum conversations, particularly for the workshops. So all those things are in that digital platform. So uh, you can run that in your browser or on your laptop. You can run it on your smartphone. We've emailed you the URL, so when you've got your joining instructions, you'll get the URL. If you're struggling with that, again, speak to a red badge person, they'll sort you out. In the room, if you're using it on your laptop or on your phone, then please mute the audio and the video feed if that comes up, because you won't want to have that going on in the room at the same time as real live stuff. Um, so uh, you can use it, but you can use it for the chat. The chat is quite interesting. You just you swipe a little grey bar up to get to the chat, and it takes a couple of minutes to get used to that, but it works really well. Online people, hello, welcome, thank you for coming. Um, so you're seeing this in the. Oh, I hope you're seeing this. If you're not, if you're not seeing this, you're not seeing this. But you're seeing this in the digital venue events case, um, brought to you uh, also by our great AV team at BMA House and from Gigabox. Um, and you'll see the live streaming of the plenary sessions like this, um, and it's also used for your Q&A. You also get the agenda and timetable, the sponsor information, and all of that. <clears throat> but the live Q&A is crucial. Again, we would really like to hear from you. So if you've got a question, put it in the text chat. Somebody will contact you and say, would you like to ask this question live? You say, yes, absolutely. Let me just put the dog outside. And uh, then we put you live and you get to answer your, ask your question live on screen here. And that's a really crucial part of this hybrid experience. So I really encourage you to, to do that and engage with us um, uh, across that hybrid divide. It also gives you links to the virtual rooms for the um, uh, w workshops and things like that. So that's in a thing called spatial chat. So we use that for workshops and conversations and lightning talk. And again, you can link to that from this uh, online environment that you're in now. Um, and so that's kind of what that looks like. So you can see the, a, a live room right there. Um, and they're kind of modeled to look like the physical rooms here. And this is where you can converse with other people who are online. So great, thank you for that. So um, what happens next? We ask ourselves. Right, so that's just a quick picture of the online platform if you haven't looked at it before. Um, and that's what the live stream looks like if there was live stream going in there. And then there's another picture of what a, a virtual room looks like. So I'm not going to show you those instructions. OK, so that is what hybrid's all about. So you get a sense of how we're going to work together in a hybrid way. So that really concludes my welcome. Um, uh, so welcome all. Glad to have you here, or glad to have you here online. I'm now going to hand over to the introductory session team, led by Alice Ellingham here in the room. And she's going to explain to you what's going to happen next. Thank you.